gunslingers, outlaws, dusty saloons, and horse-drawn carriages. This place may remind you of the American West of old, but the truth is stranger than that. Here you'll find soothsayers and prophets, miracles and monsters, mechanical contraptions of new, and relics of an age-long past. These are the tales of the Wasted West. On a train bound for Arcadia, Silas and Gideon sat in their own private cabin, listening to Piper recount her own tales of traveling to the city. As Piper droned on, Silas fumbled with his new Synephium six-shooter, Dawnbringer. The embalmed head of wisdom, hidden beneath his red bandana, fed him secrets that only he could hear. comes up trying to sell you something, politely refuse. And make sure you check your pockets regularly. You never know when someone might snatch something. Yes, Miss Mulligan. What about you, Silas? What? Uh, oh, uh, yes, Auntie. Silas, were you even listening? Yeah, you s- said, uh, uh, refuse politely, and, um, I'll always check your pockets. Good. Now, as I was saying, Arcadia is a large city, so it's very Phew. important you two stay That was close. And carry on? Right. As I was saying, you got real lucky back there in Devil's Canyon. I'm surprised your wrist is still intact, let alone that you managed to land a shot with that thing. But why couldn't I hit the rider at Zephro's workshop? comes down to the type of bullet. The gun came with synephium ones, but you ran out and had to use your father's regular lead bullets. Since you aren't a slinger, he can just use magic to block those. Well, once we get Sylvie with us, she'll teach me how to sling. We'll see how that rider likes me then. Silas, what's that mumbling about? Uh Uh-huh. Oh, what mumbling? You're talking to that head again, aren't you? What? No! Why would I be talking to that thing? (sighs) I can't wait till your sister joins us. I'll finally get someone who'll listen to some common sense. Hey, what about me? Oh, not you, sweetie. You're fine. (sighs) What a way to treat the hero of Devil's Canyon. Refreshments, anyone? Ooh, I'll have some. What will be, young man? I'll take a Dirty Daniels, please. Certainly. Anything else for you two? Nah. We are good. Thank you. All right. Enjoy, sir. Gideon? You've been a drinker all this time? No, no, no. Don't get the wrong idea, Miss Mulligan. I'm trying something out here. Watch. With this whiskey and some ingredients from my bag... We had a drop just so, and... My word! Whoa! What happened? You know how the Midnight Council were throwing fireballs? I thought I could probably do the same with alchemy, so I've been experimenting. That's incredible! Oh, I can't wait to give those wizards a taste of their own medicine! I'll ask you not to do that while we're indoors, Gideon. Although, it might come in handy. The trio rode quietly in their cabin, watching as the train sped through miles of vineyards and orchards surrounding Arcadia. Unbeknownst to them, two train robbers made their way down the aisle, causing a commotion. Huh? What's happening out there? Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands up and hand over your boots, belts, and wallets now. Yeah, what he said. Oh no, are those train robbers outside? I'm afraid they are. Just stay calm. I'll leave some cash out. 
In my experience, they don't want trouble any more than we do. Yeah, screw all that. I've got Dawnbringer. Watch this. Silas, no! Stop right there, villains! Or prepare to face the fury of Dawnbringer! Ha! <laughs> Look at this kid. Thinks he's a hero. Get lost, or you'll be leaking lead. Yeah, you don't want to mess with my partner here. Fastest fingers in the West he's got. I'm not going anywhere. The next time I shoot Dawnbringer, it's going to be at you. What the? That gun? It, it, it's a Zephro. This kid's a cop. Get out of here. Scram. You haven't seen the last of us. You saved us all. We can't think of enough, Mr... The name's Silas Geltano. Geltano, we will forever be in your debt, good sir. Thank you, everyone. All in a day's work. Wow, that took guts. Thanks, Gideon. I think I'm getting the hang of being a hero. Are you enjoying yourself there, Mr. Gunslinger? We're trying to keep a low profile. The Midnight Council could be anywhere. And what would your father say if he knew you were risking your neck like this? I think Pappy would be mighty pleased right now. I'm doing our name proud. Evening, folks. Silas, was it? Didn't mean to startle you there. My name is Warren Von Buren. That was quite the demonstration you put on. Evening, sir. Don't mention it. I'm always happy to help. I feel much the same way. See, I'm a banker. Valuables are my trade, and I happen to have some critical assets with me. Losing them to those robbers would have been absolutely disastrous. As a token of my gratitude, I invite you to stay at my estates in Arcadia. Appreciate the offer, sir, but we really can't. We're just going to the Aegis Temple to get my sister. Then we're leaving. Ah, the Aegis Temple. Quite a magnificent work of architecture. I presume your sister is a trainee there? Yeah, she's been with them for a year now. Then please, let me take you to the Aegis Temple in my private luxury carriage. I insist. It's the only way I can repay you. I think that'd be pretty nice. What do you say to that, Piper? Well, I suppose it would save me the trouble of planning our own transport. Wonderful, ma'am. I'll meet you and your companions at the station when we arrive. I look forward to speaking with you, Jaltano. See, Piper? I just earned us a free ride to the temple. That's what being a hero gets you. <laughs> well, a carriage ride isn't worth the risk of getting shot. You still need to learn some restraint, Silas. Hey, kid, that guy looked real sleazy, even for a banker. Don't you think he's being a little too nice? Relax. Everything's gonna be fine. I know what I'm doing. The train skidded to a halt at Arcadian Station. Warren Von Buren eagerly herded Silas and his companions to his private carriage, waiting for him in the busy street. Whoa! <laughs> These seats are really soft! That's Velvet, good sir. Straight from Velvet City. One of the few things that comes out of that place. And you say you know the way to the Aegis Temple? Of course. Hurry along. As we planned, driver. We haven't got all day. Look at all those people. And I thought Devil's Canyon was crowded. <laughs> yes, it might take some getting used to for you country folk, if I'm not assuming too much from your attire. You're right, sir. We aren't from around here. Then tell me, where are you from? I certainly don't get to speak with people like you very often. Again, I mean no offense. I'm just curious. Oh, we're from Bricktown. 
It's a tiny place, so I don't blame you if you haven't heard of it. As it so happens, I have heard of it. Are you sure? It hardly appears on the maps. I heard the name from some friends of mine. What goes on over there? Most of the folk in Bricktown are ranchers, Silas and his father included. Oh? Silas, you don't seem as if you're the ranching type. What do you mean? I mean, your appearance, your demeanor, that one-of-a-kind pistol at your hip. You could be a gunslinger straight out of a book. It's like you have a legacy to live up to. Funny you should mention that. I- Shush. Not a word, remember? What was that? Oh, nothing. The boy runs his mouth sometimes. He lives alone with his father on their ranch. Like we said, his sister went to train with the Aegis. Their family's all well and good. Ah, that's good to hear. Say, you handle that Cinephium gun quite well. Why is it that your sister is the one training with the Aegis? Well, she's older than me, and Pappy thought she should be the one to learn how to protect us. She's learning from the Aegis, yes. That seems like overkill against bandits and animals and such. Well, we're not ordinary ranchers. Our family is actually hunted by- Speaking of his family, where in the pit are you taking us? Why, the Aegis Temple, of course. Yeah, right. I know this city better than most of the people here. I can excuse one or two wrong turns, but the way we've been going, it's nowhere near the Aegis Temple. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm sure my driver knows what he's doing. I doubt that. Also, why would a socialite like you be so keen to host us from the start? I was merely repaying the favor. Silas is an extraordinary young man. I just wanted to get to know him a little better. Me? I'm extraordinary? Hold on. All Silas did was stop some robbers. It was daring, yes, but you're implying something more. What's your real angle? What do you mean? Not to mention, we're still heading away from the Aegis Temple. I assure you, everything will be fine. Stay right where you are. No, I don't think so. You're with the Midnight Council, aren't you? What? That's preposterous! Ready your gun, Silas. We might be in danger. Uh, sure. As for you there, tell your driver to stop this instant. What exactly are you planning? I... All I have to say is... May our champion rise again for the Midnight Council! He jumped out! Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Wait a minute! Get back here! Taste the might of Dawnbringer! Dang! He's fast! Someone help! These three fiends tried to kill me in my carriage! What? No, don't listen to him. He's lying. No one's going to believe you over the banker, boy. Just get out and run. Both of you. No, but he got away. We're never going to catch him in this crowd. Now run before we get our noses broken. The three darted through the streets of Arcadia, avoiding the many crowds of people until they found a quiet, secluded alley where they could catch their breath. A fine mess we're in. We should have been more cautious. You're right. Also, did you call me Daring back there? Now is not the time. We need to keep our heads down. What do we do now? Let's just keep out of sight, get Sylvie, and leave. I'm tired of being chased around. If you're lucky, or very unlucky, your sister might be looking for us right now. They've been using Aegis recruits as law keepers ever since they built their temple here. Then I'll just tell her we're the good guys. I'm sure she'll believe me. Anyways, let's get out of here before... Silas? Sylvie? What are you doing here? I'm taking you home. The Midnight Council found us. We need to get back to Pappy. Now what's this? These three match the descriptions. Looks like you found the suspects, Miss Geltano. Good work. You're the shooter? Listen, officer. The name's Pascal. Right, Officer Pascal. I can explain. 
That's them, officers. They're the ones who attacked me in my carriage. Apprehend them at once. Warren! We trusted you! Uh, you've got the wrong idea, officer. That man threatened us. Warren Van Buren threatens you? Outrageous slander. I am a respected citizen of Arcadia, not a thug like you. Don't be swayed by their lies, officer. Pascal, I mean, Captain, this is my brother, Silas. Silas Jaltano? That's the name you gave us, right, Mr. Van Buren? Absolutely, that's him. I'm surprised. Didn't know you had troublemakers in the family, Geltano. I, I, my brother's not a troublemaker, Captain. He's just... You must understand, officer. Mr. Von Buren offered to take us to the Aegis Temple, but he was driving us elsewhere instead. We've been hunted by the Midnight Council all the way here, so we felt unsafe in his presence. Well, I might be inclined to consider your word over his if it weren't for the decisive piece of evidence Warren mentioned. Lift your bandana, boy. What? How could you have known about that, Warren? You're hiding something under there. Show us. Please, listen to him. All right, fine. <gasps> there, you see? I wasn't lying. Shrunken head. Only a practitioner of dark magic would keep such a horrifying artifact hidden on them. Silas, where did you find that? Sylvia Joltano, right? Your brother's been rambling about you the whole way here. Mind-numbing, let me tell you. Huh? Who said that? Focus, Joltano. Oh yeah, I'm the shrunken head Silas is wearing. Warren's lying, by the way, in case you had any doubts about that. Uh... It's as I said, officers. I saw this miscreant handling that evil artifact, but when I went to inform the constabulary, he and his accomplices tried to strangle me in my own carriage. I barely escaped alive. Is this when he said he shot at you? Yes, with a Sinefian weapon. No doubt stolen from a lawkeeper. He's lying. I earned this pistol myself back in Devil's Canyon. Earned, you say? I heard that Devil's Canyon lost some Senefium weapons to dark sorcerers. The evidence lines up. You three are under arrest for assault and practice of dark magic. I expect you all to be facing the hangman's noose before long. Captain, I don't believe my brother is truly evil. We both grew up hating dark magic as much as anyone else. I understand your hesitation, Geltano. But you know the subtlety in which the darkness can sway people? Our cause is just, and we cannot give mercy to our enemies. Even your brother. No! We haven't done anything! Sylvia, dear, you know we can't possibly be with the Midnight Council. Please, at least grant us a trial. Arcadian law ensures us a fair hearing, doesn't it? A fair hearing? You know he's carrying that shrunken head around. They're too dangerous to be kept alive. Please calm down, Mr. Von Buren. You three will be given a trial, of course, but given the evidence and the witnesses, I can't see any verdict other than guilty. And the sentence for dark magic is death. There'll be an investigation before the trial, right? They'll find Silas innocent for sure. What is there to investigate? We know what happened, and it's our duty to defend the city from magicians. You heard the news. They just struck in Devil's Canyon, and I will not let the same thing happen here in Arcadia. With that fat cat Warren on their side, I wouldn't count on anything resembling a fair trial. You'll need to find another way out of this one, kid. Captain, I request to take charge of the shrunken head for the investigation. For all we know, it could be a tasteless souvenir instead of a magical item. We'll need to study it at the Temple Library to make sure. It's definitely dark magic. I saw him using it in some sort of ritual. Ritual? You didn't mention this before. No, I... Uh, I'm certain what I saw was practice of the dark arts. Well, I'll leave the study to you, Geltano. You know the books better than I. Be quick about it, though. You only have until tomorrow. Hand over the head, Silas. Sylvie? What are you doing? Shut it. She's on to something. I think. 
Just hand me over and don't do anything rash. Your sister and I are going to have a talk. Thanks for your help, Mr. Von Buren. You're free to go. We'll take it from here. I'm glad you were here. I don't know what I would have done without you, officers. Good day. Before you head to the library, Geltano, we have to secure the suspects. Cuff them. Search their belongings. You know the drill. Yes, Captain. Sylvie, are you insane? What could we have possibly done? B please, don't let him take us to jail. You know us. We're innocent. Quiet, Silas. Talking won't do us any more good at this point. I'm really sorry about this, Annie Piper. Just get it over with. You'll take care of this. Right, Sylvia? I will. I promise. It's going to be fine. I'll see you all soon. End of part one. Start of intermission. End of intermission. Start of part two. Night fell on the restless city of Arcadia. As streetlights came to life all across the city, two shadowy figures gathered in an alleyway to discuss their next course of action. Warren Von Buren, step forward. Councilman Baldock? I understand events did not transpire according to plan. What of Jaltano? The boy and his companions sniffed out my scheme. However, I was able to salvage my blunder thanks to the idiocy of the Aegis. How so? The boy did half the work for me, firing his gun in the middle of the street. All I had to do was utilize my illustrious status to fool those simpletons into arresting Jaltano and his friends. A turn of good fortune. What of the head? Uh, unfortunately, the arrest of Jaltano came at the price of the head. It is currently in the possession of his sister, an 
Aegis Acolyte. You incompetent imbecile. How dare you let the head slip from your grasp? S sir I assure you, I will be able to rectify the situation. Do you understand how much of a threat the Aegis pose to our champion's return? The head is with the Aegis? No matter. They will crumble before us. I'm pleased that you could finally join us. But the Aegis are formidable opponents. They will not falter so easily. The Aegis of today pale in comparison to their ancestors. I suppose I will have no choice but to secure the head myself. Excellent. I will gather our supporters and provide backup. Warren, you're coming with me. This is your mistake. But I... Yes, sir. Meanwhile, from the grandiose Aegis Temple, a window flickered with dim candlelight as Sylvia paced back and forth in her poorly lit study. To any outsider, Sylvia was deep in thought, whispering to herself. However, the embalmed head of wisdom lay on her desk, inert to all but her. And that's the story so far. By the way, only you and Silas can hear me. And your father, I guess. It runs in the family. So, is this... blood magic? I never thought I'd see it firsthand. Uh, how did this happen? Beats me. That was centuries ago. You'd think I shrunk my own head. I guess not. Anyway, what does this have to do with getting Silas out? To be honest, I figured you should know. Might come in handy. So, nothing? I mean, no one else has ever heard me speak. You could claim I'm just an ordinary shrunken head. Of course, because shrunken heads are such common fashion statements in Arcadia. You got any better ideas? I'm thinking. Hmm. Silas seems surprised that Warren knew about you. He has the sense not to wave a shrunken head around in public, so how did Warren find out? Well, he's with the Midnight Council. Not too much mystery left to explain. He was probably tipped off beforehand. Right. The outburst you described makes that pretty clear. Actually, you said you could detect Midnight Council members, didn't you? Ah, well, about that. I said I could detect sorcerers. That covers a lot of Midnight Council members. But not all of them, I suppose. If we have to arrest Warren, it'll be easier not to have to deal with magic. Well, he's rich. That's a kind of magic all on its own. So that covers Warren. I still need to come up with a way to get Silas out of prison. Maybe he could use a little jail time. Might knock him down a peg or three. How could you say that? Take this seriously, he could be executed. I mean, it was bound to happen sometime. If not by noose, then by bullet or sorcery. Part of why it's so exciting hanging around him, you know? If you're not going to tell me anything useful, then keep quiet and just let me think. Well, don't think too long. I can detect a magical presence from outside right now. Seems like an old equestrian friend's paying us a visit. You mean the Dark Rider? The man who chased you all the way from Bricktown? Yeah, that's the guy. Did a number on your brother, too. He seems to be casing the temple, but I have a feeling he's not going to stay outside for long. You might want to get cracking. Ugh, I don't have enough evidence for the case yet. What do I do? Go down to the basement cells and bust them out, maybe? That'd be the Geltano thing to do. That'd be too rash. <sighs> I'll have to go to Captain Pascal and hope he trusts me. Oh boy, looking forward to seeing that clown again. Sylvia strode through the halls of the Aegis Temple, shrunken head in hand. She passed a few of her fellow Aegis, but hurried past without a word. After several minutes, she came to a sturdy wooden door on the upper levels of the temple. Hello? Captain Pascal! Ah, Sylvia Geltano. Good evening. Have you found anything regarding your brother's artifact? It's not an artifact. 
After extensive research, I couldn't find anything to suggest this thing has any magical significance. Oh, good to hear. Can you have a written report and a list of sources ready by the trial tomorrow morning? A, a report? The trial's still on? Of course. You've only been with us for a year, so you might not be familiar with Arcadian law, but there are procedures that must be followed. We know Silas isn't a dark magician, so he hasn't done anything wrong. Why can't we release him now? Dark magic is the most serious crime there is. We can't take it lightly. If you want to secure your brother's freedom, the best course of action is to present your findings in court tomorrow and demonstrate that Mr. Von Buren was mistaken in his accusation. But what about his companions then? Piper and Gideon? They didn't do anything. Circumstances suggest they are accomplices to your brother. Rest assured, they will not be detained any longer than he is. Until tomorrow? Uh, we have to get them out now! Outside, there's a... Well, what's outside? I think there's an actual dark sorcerer outside the temple right now, and he's after Silas. What? To break him out? No, to kill him. How do you know this? I... uh... Saw him through the window. Miss Geltano, I understand. It's been a stressful day for you. Familial ties can cloud one's judgment. Clearly, you care deeply for your brother. I... Yes, Captain. You should return to your quarters and rest. These troubling visions should leave you by morning. I certainly hope so, Captain. Good night. Real stick in the mud, that guy. What now? Time for plan B? I suppose. I gotta say, you put a lot more thought into these things than your brother. A bit of a drag, to be honest. He'd probably have rushed down to the cells from the start, guns blazing. Well, sorry, I'm not as exciting as my brother, all right? Meanwhile, in the prisons beneath the Aegis Temple, Silas, Gideon, and Piper watched from behind bars as the guard emptied their saddlebags one by one. The three were cramped in one cell, damp and musty from the humid air. What's in these bottles here? Please, sir, don't touch those. They're my alchemicals. Possession of alchemicals? That's yet another charge against you. These things are dangerous and highly illegal. They're for medicine, I promise! I don't care what they're for. Alchemy itself is a dark art. I'll report these findings to the Aegis tonight. Let us go! We didn't do anything wrong, and Gideon's the last person on Earth to practice dark magic. Save your breath, boy. You're not going anywhere until the trial. Silas, dear, it's no use fighting. Let's just hope your sister comes up with a real good reason to let us go. She's back! Sylvie, you've got to help us! Officer Drautano, look what I found. Alchemicals. The work of dark magic if I've ever seen it. I presume that shrunken head your brother had was also the work of sorcery? Still working on it. However, Captain Pascal said he needed to talk to you about something. Said it was urgent. Understood. Be right back. My partner's on break, so I'll need you to keep an eye on these prisoners. You can count on me. I think he's gone. All right, we have to get out of here. There's not much time. What? Why? The Dark Rider's outside. He's probably after the head. We're all in danger. He's getting closer. I guess the temple walls didn't keep him out for long. We have to get out of here now. Quick, open the door! Where did the guard keep his keys? He put it back on his belt when he locked us in here. What? We're stuck in here? Don't panic. I have an idea. I thought to bring this. You're gonna shoot out the lock? Hmm. It looks to be very solid steel. 
I've tried to shoot my way out of a cell before, but all I did was hurt my ears. A shotgun won't help. I learned a few tricks here with the Aegis. Stand back. Whoa! Awesome! That's slinging? That's right. It takes some concentration to work the shotgun like that. Can you teach me? Do you think I can pull it off? Not now. We need to get out of here. They'll be coming down to see what the noise was. Oh, right. Let's talk later, then. Oh, good. My alchemicals are intact. Silas, you should check if your gun is still in your bag. Oh, right. With Dawnbringer by my side, nothing can stop us. Save the boasting for later. I think someone's coming. Jotano, what is the meaning of this? Captain Pascal, I, I... We're innocent, so we're leaving. Since you won't listen to us, Sylvie freed us herself. Silence, boy, and you, Jotano. What you're doing is betrayal of the highest order. These three are innocent and in danger. We need to get them out of here to safety. So you keep insisting... If you are a threat to the Aegis, then I have only one option. We've worked together for a year, Captain. Don't do this. I take no pleasure in this. Farewell. Not so fast. No one threatens my sister like that. Let us go. You are bold, I'll give you that. But consider we Aegis are the most powerful slingers in Arcadia. You cannot hope to best me. A hero never backs down from a challenge like that. Better cut the chat short, kid. The rider is heading toward us fast. In fact... We meet again, Silas. And I see your sister is with you as well. Who are you? How did you get in here? Ah! Captain, no! He's not breathing. Down he goes. So much for the strongest slingers in Arcadia. What luck. All three of the Midnight Council's biggest targets in one room. This should be quick. You can't beat us that easily. Don't waste your bullets, you fool. You should know that your skills can't harm me. Now, your sister, on the other hand. What? M me? Sylvia, was it? Your attire is that of an Aegis recruit, I see. Th that's... Uh, I... What? I was told you would put up more of a fight. Hoping for it, actually. Surely that shotgun of yours isn't just for show. It, it, it's my father's. Oh, I remember when the Aegis recruits had spines. They were a threat to us. Back in their prime. You and everyone in this temple right now are a sorry mockery of what the Aegis once were. Th that that's not w w we Sylvia what what what's wrong you're not even going to try to shoot me at least your brother had the spirit to fight back not that that'll save either of you prepare to die Sylvie ah! Ah! I wow that burns much better than I expected oh Gideon you saved us I only have one more everyone run Come on, Sylvia. Ah, uh, you, you're dead. Hold of you. Nice throw, Gideon. Now, let's get out of here. The four ran as fast as they could out of the Aegis Temple and across the dark streets, dodging carriages and people along the way. 
Piper guided them around street corners and towering spires to get as far away as they could. <laughs> you really gave him a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> Thanks, Silas. If that guard had spilled my alchemicals, we would have been done for. Will you two keep quiet? We don't need people thinking we're wanted men. Now, hold on. Who are you to start bossing us around? The rider was standing right there insulting you, and you did nothing. I was scared, all right. I've never fought an actual wizard before. Scared? You're with the Aegis. I thought the whole point was to fight people like him. Hey, uh, guys. A fully trained Aegis Slinger could fight him. Me? I've been training for a year. What was I supposed to do? What about Pascal, then? He was fully trained. Why didn't he do anything? I don't know. Don't talk about Captain Pascal like that. <clears throat> Will you two shut up? We're going to attract a crowd before we even get close to the train station. Going somewhere? <laughs> you walked right into it. I was about to say you guys were running towards some Midnight Council goons, but you were preoccupied. Our supporters have been blessed by Champion Nabuchel tonight. There is no hope for you. You cannot escape now. Oh! He's back! Uh, Gideon, quick, set him on fire again. I'm out of alchemicals. No more distractions. Now die. Ah! 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 No, help, someone do something. Sylvia, w what am I supposed to do? So this is how the Jelkanos die. One's roasted alive and the other's frozen in place. You're doing this now? I'm not going to get another chance, am I? Is this what you want your family's legacy to be? Sylvia Jaltan? Ah! By the champion's grace! The girl can sling. Ah! Orin, kill her. For the glory of... This is unforeseen. Everyone, retreat! Don't mess with us. Yeah, that's more like it. There's the Jaltano tenacity I know and hate. Whoa. Wait, Silas, we need to help him. Gideon, can you do anything? Quick! I have some medicine, but not for burns this bad. We're gonna need some stronger alchemicals than I can cook up. Then how are we going to help him? Alchemy is outlawed in Arcadia. I found that the law doesn't have as long an arm as you'd think. Take it from a former outlaw. Once we get out of the city, we should be able to find what we need. The geese on La Brea back in Bricktown talked about a place called Granite. Said it was around here. It's a frequent stop for them. Granite? I think I saw it in the Atlas. I can get us there. It should be close enough, from what I recall. You... <coughs> Don't think you've won this, Jaltano. I am but the first of many. He's still alive? Our great champion never shall will return in time. Champion Nebuchel, huh? Haven't heard about him in a while. Anyways, just leave this guy and move it. I don't think your brother's got long. Are we still in danger? I think we're safe. For now. Sylvia, Gideon, quick. Help me get Silas out of here. Piper hailed the carriage. The four rode through the streets of Arcadia and into the far reaches of the city. Stone pathways, towering buildings, and streetlights gave way to rocky outcrops and scattered trees. 
Sylvia's thoughts dwelled on a life she was leaving behind and the trials that lay ahead. You've been listening to the third episode of Tales of the Wasted West, an original student-produced audio drama. This episode was directed, written, and produced by Mikey Lee, Alexander Wu, and Brandon Jones. Sound design by Justin Uberhorst. Production assistance by Kenji Banakongo. Graphic design by Bela Ozer, Harley Dolan, and Min Kim. And music by Max Kaiser, Ken Chen, Alexander Wu, and Josh Bloom. The intermission music is Gladiolus Rag by Scott Joplin. The cast, in order of appearance. Mark Rico Ludwig as the narrator. Jennifer Pyle as Piper Mulligan. Tim Harris as Gideon Greer. Morgan Algarton as Silas Jaltano. Jerry Schultz as the head. Brandon Jones as the waiter. Nate Nelson as Train Robber 1. Justin Geis as Train Robber 2. Matt Francisco as Warren Von Buren. Lexi Miller as Sylvia Jaltano, Monty Reichert as Captain Pascal. Sean Gugin as Councilman Baldock. Brett Balfour as the Dark Rider. Christian Thornton as the Prison Guard. Because we're an independent student production, we'd love to hear your feedback. Please let us know what you think at therealwastedwest at gmail.com. Again, that's therealwastedwest at gmail.com. No underscores. Be sure to catch the first half of the show throughout the spring 2022 semester at WMUC Digital College Park. I'm Mikey Lee, and on behalf of the Wasted West team, thank you sincerely for listening.